to be installing a rotary steering system and uninstalling the uh, the older system. Looks like the wires are starting to show here and then the previous owner just put a tube on here and put some clamps on it to get by. So we're just going to go ahead and do away with that. So the first step is uninstallation of the current steering system. So we'll get started on that. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is unscrew this primary bolt for the helm. <coughs> Maybe undo those bolts and there should be a nut <coughs> underneath here that I have to pull out. Next, we're just going to pull off the steering wheel once we remove the, uh, the lock nut. And there's a keyway in here for the steering wheel. We need to make sure we don't lose that. And there's the keyway. It feels like it's rusted in there pretty well. Just gonna leave it there and then get under here, which I'm sure is all rusted. two bolts right here and there's a bolt on top to get the helm off and then this whole mechanism should be free so I'm gonna get and do that all right so to get those bolts underneath here the whole thing is spinning I'm gonna have to remove this helm thus remove this key so I can put a uh, wrench right here and then socket over here just to pull this whole steering out so I just need this to come out all right which is easier said than done looks like it's jammed in there Pretty good, like it's rusted in there. This thing is not, not cooperating in the slightest. It has not moved any, despite all that hammering. There's the, uh, let's see here, there's the keyway that was rusted in there, so now we'll just take the helm off. And, uh, should be in business. There we go. Now we have access to all the bolts. You know, the, the two in the bottom, which I pointed out, and then the top. So, we should be able to make this easy peasy. Back at it. 
smaller stomach it. I didn't remember what I was up against. Alright, we're almost there. is hot from all the friction. <laughs> the next part where we install the new steering. Alright, so <clears throat> everything unboxed. We got the new uh, steering wheel. So we have to do is uh, put the supporting bracket on first and then route the wires all the way through the boat. So yeah, we're gonna get that done. Alright, at least these bolts aren't rusted. Yeah, and the best part, there's no instructions, which is great, because I wouldn't have read them anyway. So, uh, let's get this party started. Alright, the fun part of deciding where all these go. Alright, so these are for... These are for the helm. This is the mounting bracket into the boat. So these three go over here. the washer okay all right so 
this small one goes here. Washer goes here. Okay, there's a couple bolts. I don't know where they go. I guess we're gonna find out. At least we got the keyway right here. Okay, alright. Okay, so I got all the bolts divided up. These, for whatever reason, didn't come with washers. I'm not sure why. This is what connects the uh, helm to the boat. This is what connects the hatch to the boat. I'm not sure what these are for yet, but we're gonna find out. These need to be facing that way because this is the way the rotary comes in. on the, the helm cover. I'm going to drill fresh holes in these final bolts here. Uh, which I don't like doing, but we're going to do it anyway. Alright, so I've got the helm ready to be installed. What I'm going to use is the original, oh, <coughs> the original bolts from the first helm, which are stainless steel. I'm go ahead and mount mount this here before I put the steering wheel on.
All right, so this is a keyway that's not rusted. I'm gonna put this in here. So this one all right so this is as big as a flywheel nut so bolt that on there okay. right, now the steering set up so now it's just time to feed through it okay so all I did was feed the wire through this okay so now I have to lock down this and this with the last two bolts just to make sure this doesn't move because if you look at it hold on, let me turn this way see how it pops out like that well there's a bolt that goes right in there and the bolt goes right in here it keeps everything locked into place basically it just rides this guide right here so we're gonna do that next all right so the steering's installed uh next step on this project is to uh is to get the uh engine installed in that transom right there so um that's what we're doing next hey i appreciate you guys uh thanks for watching